you can try to reach for your heels with your hands and then open your chest out even more. Hi guys and welcome to today's class. We are going to focus on our backs today to be able to get into deeper back bends, especially wheel pose. So what we're going to do is open up the whole front of the body, especially the chest, the shoulders and our quads. Remember though, for back bends, it's very important to have a strong core and back muscles as well. So maybe you want to focus on some exercises that target those muscle groups. Without further ado, let's get started. We will start circling our wrists. So make a fist with your hands and start circling them around to give them a nice warm up. This is very important for wheel pose because there's a lot of weight on our wrists. Change the direction. And just go in your own pace. Few more circles like this. And change. And then release. Come into tabletop position on your mat, knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. And then we're going to circle our whole body over top of the hands. The hands stay right where they are. And we just go forward to the left and around. Still focusing on this warm up for our wrists. Try to really grab the mat with your fingers so you're also activating those muscles. And then switch, circling to the other side. Feel warm. And then stop, come to center. And now switch your hands so your fingers are pointing towards you. Try to extend your elbows and then sit back with your hips, stretching out the front side of our wrists. Stay here, hold. You can go even deeper if you bend the elbows a little bit, but don't overdo it here. Hold for another breath. And then come back forward with your hips. We're going to switch the palms. So the back side of your palm comes onto the mat now and sit back with your hips maybe just start with one side because it's a lot of weight on the wrists again hold another deep breath in release your right hand Switch to the other side, back side of your left palm comes onto the mat and sit back with your hips. Hold. One more breath. And release that palm as well. Now bring your hips back. Meet me in child's pose. Palms come forward. Release your upper body on top of your thighs. Forehead comes onto the mat. 
stretch out those shoulders and your upper back focus on your inhalation and your exhalation and just release tension out of your body From here now, bring your hands over to your right. Your hips come over to your left. And then again, release your upper body down towards your thighs. Release your forehead. And feel into this nice stretch in your left side body. Deep breath. Try to breathe into your left side. And then inhale, come back up. Hands over to your left now. Hips come over to the right and release your upper body. Feel into your right side body. nice gentle stretch here inhale and exhale Inhale, come back up, hands back forward, and then round your hips back up into tabletop position. We're going to continue with cat-cow. So on your inhale, you're going to drop the belly, open your chest and look up. Exhale, round the spine, suck your belly in and tuck your chin in as well. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round the spine, tuck your chin in. Inhale, arch the spine, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, exhale, round, inhale, look up, exhale, tuck the chin in, and then come back to neutral, tabletop position, and send your hips back into child's pose. From this child's pose now, we're going to move in waves. So on your inhale, you bring your hips up and forward, drop them down onto the mat. Cobra. And then send them back, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, run forward, hips down, Cobra. Exhale, hips back, child's pose. Inhale, again, round forward, come into cobra. Exhale, hips back, release. Inhale, come forward, cobra. Here, then stay here. Hands underneath your shoulders. And open the chest, engage your back muscles. Don't put too much weight into your hands. We're not pressing against the floor here. We're engaging our back muscles. And if you can, maybe try to, to lift your hands off of the mat, just holding this cobra. And then release them back into the mat. Press a little bit into your hands, opening even more. Hold 
and lift your hands again and exhale release them onto the mat beautiful come back into child's pose hips back release your upper body stretch it out mm. From here, bring your hips back up. Now tuck your toes and send your hips back and up into downward facing dog. Feet are hip width apart. Press your fingers into the mat. Extend through your spine and your shoulders. One deep breath here in this downward dog. And then inhale, look to the front of the mat and bring your feet forward, cross your shins, come into a seated position. Plant your feet onto the mat in front of you and we will start to open up the front side of the body now. So your hands come behind you. Palms are facing towards the front of the mat. And then from here, you want to lift your hips up into a reverse tabletop. Engage your back muscles, engage your glutes. Open the chest out and the whole front of the body. Maybe drop your head back if you can. Otherwise, keep it parallel to the floor and hold this reverse tabletop with me. Engage your muscles, engage your glutes. One more breath. And exhale, release your hips back onto the mat. Beautiful. Let's continue. We will come into camel pose or camel variation. So meet me on your knees. And then bring your hips up. Your hands come onto your lower back. And then you want to shift your hips forward and lean back with your upper body, supporting your lower back here with your hands and you can just stay here if this feels good for you maybe this is as far as you want to go if you want to go further though you can try to reach for your heels with your hands and then open your chest out even more dropping your head back and send those hips forward. Coming into a full camel pose. Hold it here. Deep breath. Then slowly bring your hands back onto your lower back and release your hips down towards your heels just stay seated here for a moment neutralizing the spine before we go into the counter pose And then release your hands forward. Meet me in child's pose. Release your upper body and release your forehead onto the mat. Let go of everything that no longer serves you. Try to exhale 
any tension out of your body. Inhale, come back up with your upper body. We are going to continue with our quad stretch. So for that, bring your feet out wider a little bit. Your knees stay together and then try to sit between your heels. With your sitting bones, trying to connect them to the mat. If this is too much for your knees, please skip this pose. Or if you have a knee injury and you feel some pain in your knees, just continue with the next exercise. From here, you will lean back with your upper body and try to bring your elbows onto the mat Feeling a nice stretch in your quad muscles. And you can stay here. Or if you want to go further, you can try to release your whole upper body down onto the mat. Release your head. And just relax into this pose. Maybe close your eyes. This is a really nice stretch for the quad muscles. Opening them up for any back bend variation. Two more breaths here. And then open your eyes and slowly bring your upper body back up, pressing into your elbows and then coming back up into a seated position. Bring your knees back now. We will release the front of our body onto the mat. Release your hips and your belly and from here you will bend your knees and bring your feet in try to grab your feet with your hands then another stretch with the quads and then from here we will try to come into bow pose which means you will grab your ankles, flex your feet, and then press your feet into your hands, lifting your chest off of the mat. And maybe you even want to try to lift your legs off of the mat as well. Maybe point your toes and go as high as you can. Open up that chest and the shoulders. Deep breath here. Engage your glutes and your back muscles. Hold this with me. Two more breaths. And then exhale, release your upper body, release your legs, let go of your ankles and extend your knees. Bring your hands in front of you, stacking your palms in front, on top of each other. And then just release your head onto your hands and relax.
You're now letting go of any tension. Release any thoughts out of your mind. Just find stillness. Slowly from here, lift your head, open your eyes, and meet me at the center of your mat. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. This is the background preparation that I recommend you to do before getting into backbends or trying them out. We already had some deeper backbends in this practice. Just go in your own pace and um, whatever you feel comfortable with. Don't overdo it. Um, the practice comes with time. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. If you're interested in more yoga videos, check out my channel. And I hope to see you in the next class. Bye guys.